G'day guys, Glam20 here. Just thought I'd do a bit of a recap of a mail day which came in from Nick. Uh, so first of all, as always, thanks Nick for being our post office for us and storing our stuff. Uh, I just thought I'd go through a few of the things I got. Uh, what do I start? I'll start with the bogets I got. Got a fair few patches. This one here. Number to 25, number 20 to 25, Alice's jersey number. Some say 101, but maybe not. Uh, this one here is an awesome, actually, I think this one was from Nick. I think he pulled this one out. Once again, 11 to 25, really, really nice patch. So thanks for that, Nick. Awesome card. And next we have a Team Trademarks. Can't really see the patch. Oh, there we go. It's a really nice patch. There's two different greens. So that's four color patch. That one's to 25 as well. Number eight to 25. This one is a patch. Part of the All Star All Star Weekend. So that's what is it? 22 or 25. Nice bogey. Got that one really cheap. This one I've been looking at getting for a while. But they always seem to go fairly expensive for some reason. And I must admit, initially, I didn't really like the design of them. But they're sort of growing on me now. That's a really nice three-colour jersey. Auto to 36. It's an odd number to go to, but there you go. This one here, just one of the cheap pickups. I've actually got one of these. This one's numbered to 99. I've got one of these that's... Uh, Number to five. Just happy to get that. Nice and cheap. This one here is one, two, three, four colours and about five or six breaks. It's really nice. This is different different greens, a bit of white, red. And that one is number to 49. 16 or 49. And what else we got? Black gold. Bogut. That one's number 249. Uh, I think I've already got one of these, but I think this is one I just picked up to cheap. National Treasures to 49. The jersey's actually coming out a bit of the card there a bit, which is a, probably why I got it so cheap. That's all right. Uh, I got an auto Jersey Kings number to 25 and also got this dirt cheap as well as graded card a tops luxury box Bogut red and Villanova gonna hold it still it's graded 9, 9.5, 9.5, 9.5, 8.5. got 8.5 corners. Wow. I don't see it. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, next one is a booklet. Have a preferred center. Got that one dirt cheap as well. And that's pretty much it for the bogets. The other bogut item I got, let me just put these out of the way. Is I got a, a bobblehead. And I assume because now he's not with uh, Milwaukee. So it's probably a good time to get one because they're they'll be getting getting rid of them cheap. And I was right. That's really cool. The one downside to to this, and it's sort of a bit of a premonition of his injuries, is it actually broke. <laughs> so he's been having some ankle trouble, but I didn't think uh, maybe this is sort of like a voodoo doll. It's actually cracked away, but hopefully I'll be able to glue that back. Won't be too much of an issue. Fingers crossed. Now. 
I'll move on to some of the shack things. I've got a few shack cards. As you probably know, I go for the uh, back in the day when I was collecting uh, shack cards were always really expensive. This was back, back when it was drafted in '92, um, you know, early '90s, they were just you know 20 bucks for a, a base card. That's just what they were. So it was always too expensive. And now that uh, sort of it's gone on a bit, I've been trying to get all of his rookie cards graded at least mint. So that's his rookie standout. So remember back in the day, if you bought a pack of 1992 upper deck and you pulled this, you would be very excited. But that's a nice card. There's my 92 four sports. Graded 92 near mint mint. And I've got the um, US version. This is the European version of this card. Which is really nice. Got that dirt cheap as well. Now this one here, this is the, in my opinion, uh, probably this and his bean team are his two best cards in 92. This was personally my favourite, and I love this set. And that's the Magic Saw Rookie. Graded 9 Mint. Beautiful card. These back in the day, to show you what card collecting was like, or give you an idea of what card collecting was like in Australia, when this card, when this set took off, this when this was booking at, uh, I think it got up to about $200 at Booked Out, um, to buy a pack. To try and pull one of these and these are one per one out of the, this set of 10 you get one in every box and packs at one stage were 22 dollars so it was just crazy it really was hard this one here nice jumbo card the main reason i got this it's got ellis on the back i've already got one of these but once again it popped up you don't see these around too often is that a good price I've got another one. All right, now moving on to the LSPC. I've got some really nice ones which have been waiting a little while for. Let's see what we've got here. Here's the 1950. Number to 150, and hold it steady now, there you go, 113 or 150, and that's row zero, and that goes, these are ones that I already had, there's row one, and row two, all numbered to 150, so I've got the three of those now, which is good, hang on puppy. Uh, another Ellis number 275. That's another base type card, but cool. Didn't have it. This one here. This is a, I think this is the one of a kind. One of a kind, yeah, that's number to 150. Come on, where are you? There it is. Beautiful. So I was happy to get those. Um, got some IP autos for Ellis because obviously he didn't have a lot of um, autos um, back in the day. He had sort of he had uh, a classic auto in the front row, so you can get them relatively cheap. And I've been picking picking them up when I can. I actually got two of these. Got two for some reason. Obviously forgot I got the first one. It's all right. This one. So that one's. Miami one, Atlanta one for good measure, and this one here has a little bit of a story. Back in the day, um, used to send off cards to the Nuggets at the time, and uh, a letter, and try to get some analysts to sign some cards and send them back. And I sent a heap off, and um, got some back, which was all good. Came back signed, which was really good. Um, the next lot I sent off. I got back, but the card was stamped instead of autoed. And I actually remember reading in a Beckett that uh, they mentioned that Ellis was stamping autos. 
Um, and soon after that, he, he he didn't do them anymore. But it was it was ironic because the one that I had that was stamped, I sort of originally thought, oh, well, he hasn't signed it. But they suddenly became, it was sort of that period where he, where he stamped them. So there's his, there's another stamped one. This is where he stamped all that looks like. That's uh, his upper deck rookie. Happy to get that. Uh, this one here. Oh, I'll show this one first. That's his um, finest refractor. Graded 9 mint. Happy to get that. And this one here is another refractor. And it's numbered, you'll probably see it there, 100 of 100. And the reason that's so cool is I have this one, which is actually graded 98 gem. And this one's numbered number one. So I've got the bookends. I've got the first one and the last one made. I might get this one um, actually graded. There's a local, uh, well, local, it's in Sydney, but there's a place in Australia that does grading of cards now, so I might actually, it looks in really good condition, but just so I can have them both graded, it'd be nice. That's that. Uh, last couple of things I've got. Thanks again to Nick. Won one of his uh, competitions uh, for a couple of Dominiques. And the last couple I got, Ronnie Rogers. I really need to get better light in here. This one's numbered 4 of 60. That's my second one of that. Uh, and this one here, see Skybox. Not numbered. And the other one, what I think of that. The other one I did get, and I'm not sure which one of these it was. Yeah, you know how you have won a card that just, I don't know why, but I have bought a few of these cards. And that's the Rodney Rogers 4 Sports Auto. Remember when I first got it, collecting uh, Rodney Rogers, it was just an awesome, awesome card. Just love the look of 4 Sports. And they were, no, they were hard to get. And it's, I mean, it's numbered to 4,000, which sounds like they're everywhere, but. And you do find a few on eBay here and there. But I have that many. <laughs> Let's give you a bit of a look. All the same. It's all different numbered. One actually came up on eBay probably about a year, year or year and a half ago, which was numbered number one of 4,000. And I really, really, really desperately wanted it. I think it was going for about 20 bucks too, because these normally you can get for you know, five, six dollars. Um, ordinarily um, but I couldn't get it because the guy just refused to ship to Australia which really sucks um, been saying that that uh, sort of reminds me more of why I'm thankful to Nick for hanging on to these cards and uh, and shipping them over to me um, once again really appreciate it hope all is well and uh, hope everyone has a Merry Christmas if I don't uh, make another video before then so uh, yeah that's my mother. Thanks, guys. See ya.